Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quiz Class. Today we have 100 questions on 1970s music. How many singles did Simon Garfunkel have in the 1970 Billboard year-end 100 singles? One, two, or three? Two. Which Rose Royce 1976 disco smash hit was written for a film of the same name? Car wash, hair wash, or brain wash? Car wash. Which artist released the albums Writer, Tapestry, and Fantasy in the 1970s? Dolly Parton, Carole King, or Barbara Streisand? Carol King. What was the 1970s the golden age of? Live music, rock and roll, or vinyl records? Vinyl records. Which band formed after attending a June 1976 Sex Pistols concert, Joy Division, The Cure, or The Smiths? Joy Division. Which song is not on the 1970 Cat Stevens album, T for the Tillerman? Father and Son, Peace Train, or Wild World? train. Where did Led Zeppelin record three albums in the early 1970s? Abbey Road, Record Plant, or Headley Grange? Headley Grange. Where was leading 1970s musician, singer, and songwriter Jackson Brown born? England, France, or Germany? Germany. Where in Australia in 1973 did punk rock band The Saints form? Brisbane, Melbourne, or Perth? Brisbane. Which artist sang Joy to the World, the number one Billboard year-end single of 1971? Three Dog Night, Three Nod Night, or Three Drop Night? Three Dog Night. Who originally wrote the song, I Shot the Sheriff, that Eric Clapton covered in 1974? Alpha Blondie, Jimi Hendrix, or Bob Marley? Bob Marley. What did 1960s garage rock become in the 1970s? Grunge, punk, or sleaze? Punk. Which 1970s artist is not an example of the prog music genre? Wings, Yes, or Genesis? Wings. What was the Isle of Wight festival that finished in 1970 known as? Woodstock of Europe, Glastonbury, or Island of Sound? Woodstock of Europe. Which country music singer provided the theme music for the 1979 television show The Dukes of Hazzard? Willie Nelson, 
Johnny Paycheck, or Waylon Jennings. Waylon Jennings. Who performed the 1978 punk rock hit Plain Pour Moi? Plastic Bertrand, Plastic Fantastic, or Plastic Reverend? Plastic Bertrand. What fruit is on the cover of Paul McCartney's 1970 solo album, McCartney? Strawberry, cherry, or cranberry? Cherry. What does Gloria Gaynor say, I will, in her 1978 song? Shine, decide, or survive? survive. Which songwriting duo wrote the title song for Disney's 1970 film The Aristocats? Sherman Brothers, Everly Brothers, or Gershwin Brothers? The Sherman Brothers. Who released the 1975 cover Diamonds and Rust? Mercedes Sosa, Joan Baez or Mimi Farina? Joan Baez. Which artist performed their cover of The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face, the number one Billboard year end single of 1972? Roberta Flack, Nina Simone, or Ella Fitzgerald? Roberta Flack. For which 1971 James Bond film did Shirley Basie perform the eponymous theme song? Diamonds Are Forever, Goldfinger, or You Only Live Twice? Diamonds Are Forever. Which musician supergroup released their first album as a quartet Deja Vu in 1970, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Planet Earth Rock and Roll Orchestra, or Bad Company? Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Which song released in 79 went on to win the inaugural Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance? Cindy Bullen, Survivor, Donna Summer, Hot Stuff, or Bonnie Wright, You're Gonna Get What's Coming? Donna Summer for Hot Stuff. Which musician died on September 18, 1970? Jimi Hendrix, Sid Vicious, or Nick Drake? Jimi Hendrix. Which group broke up in 1972 after just four years together? The Beatles, Electric Light Orchestra, or Credence Clearwater Revival? Credence Clearwater Revival. What is Earth, Wind & Fire's best-selling song of the 70s? September, Shining Star, or Sing a Song? September. Which song was not a B-side on the 1978 Dire Straits single, Sultans of Swing? Eastbound Train, Southbound Again, or Romeo and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet. In which 1979 film did Bette Midler portray Janis Joplin? The Rose, the Moon, or the Sun? The Rose. Which Grammy Awards were held on March 11, 1970? 
the 2nd, the 7th, or the 12th. The 12th. Who performed Tie a Yellow Ribbon Round the Old Oak Tree, the number one billboard year and single of 1973? Grand Funk Railroad, Torney Orlando and Dawn, or Maureen McGovern? Tony Orlando and Dawn. What was the original music and culture scene story source for the 1977 dance drama film Saturday Night Fever? Short story, article, or memoir? Article. What type of folk music was part of the 1970s Prague sound? European folk, Appalachian folk, or Mexican folk? European folk. What type of song is Elton John's 1973 Candle in the Wind written for Marilyn Monroe? Hymn, epic poem, or fredony? Threadeny. Which music television program began airing in syndication in 1979? Austin City Limits, Soul Train, or Your Hit Parade? Soul Train. What instrument did Brian Eno play for Roxy Music when he joined in 1971? Keyboard, synthesizer, or electric guitar? Synthesizer. Which song performed by the Carpenters won the Academy Award for Best Original Song in 1979? For All We Know, Rainy Days and Mondays, or Superstar? For All We Know. Which 1970 Broadway musical was adapted to a 1973 film of the same name? Chicago, The Producers, or Jesus Christ Superstar? Jesus Christ Superstar. What type of instrument was the Music Man Sabre first released in 1978? Electric guitar, electric piano, or the electric drums? Electric guitar. Journalist Lester Banks' 1973 negative review of which band resulted in his firing from Rolling Stone? Canned Heat, Jefferson Airplane, or Black Sabbath? Canned Heat. From which film of the same name was Barbara Streisand's number one on the Billboard Year and Hot 100 singles of 74? A Star is Born, Hello Dolly, or The Way We Were. The Way We Were. In which New York City neighborhood was the hip hop dance style break created in the early 70s? Harlem, North Bronx, or South Bronx? South Bronx. Which Grateful Dead album was released in 1970? Working Man's Dead, Working Man's Rest, or Working Man's Life? Working Man's Dead. What took off in radio broadcasting in the 1970s? AM band, FM band, or TM band? FM band. 
Which band had the highest worldwide sales in the 1970s? Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, or the Eagles? Led Zeppelin. Who performed with The Who on the song Pinball Wizard from the 1975 film Tommy? Eric Clapton, Jack Nicholson, or Elton John? Elton John. Who wrote the theme music for the Muppets television show that debuted in 1974? Frank Oz, Jim Henson, or Jack Parnell? Jim Henson. Where did the band Talking Heads form in 1975? New York City, Detroit, or Portland? New York City. What is the parenthesis title of the 1971 Marvin Gaye song, Inner City Blues? Make me wanna holler, make me wanna yell, or make me wanna howl? Make me wanna holler. What is the plot of the 1970 album, La Buena Novella, by Fabrizio de André, New Testament Apocrypha, The New World, or Dawning of a New Age? New Testament Apocrypha. Which artist started and ended in 75 with a song at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 number ones chart? Barry Manilow, Elton John, or Frankie Valli? Elton John. How many group numbers were there in the proto-punk band Suicide, formed in 1970? Two, three, or four? Two. What did musician Vincent Damien Fernier legally change his name to in the early 70s? Ellis Stuper, Storm Trooper, or Alice Cooper? Alice Cooper. What did the Gallo Opera House reopen as in 1977? Crisco Disco, Studio 54, or Paradise Garage? Studio 54. Who covered Mick Jackson's 1977 song, Blame It on the Boogie, in 1978? The Jacksons, Janet Jackson, or Jack Jackson? The Jacksons. Which artist relocated to New York City in 1978 to start building their music career? Prince, Sting, or Madonna? Madonna. Who re-recorded the Happy Days theme song that took over for season three in 1975? Pratt and McLean, England Dan and John Ford Cawley, or Seals and Crofts? Pratt and McLean. What colors were Sly and the Family Stone's 1971 album cover, There's a Riot Going On? Red, white, and blue? blue, black, and white, or red, white, and black? Red, white, and black. Who released their debut solo record, My Aim is True, in 1977? Paul Simon, Elvis Costello, or Peter Gabriel? Elvis Costello. 
How many number one hit songs did Bee Gees have in the 1970s? Five, nine, or 13? Nine. Which artist performed Silly Love Songs, the number one song on the Billboard Year and 100 list in 1976? Wings, Sting, or Eagles? Wings. What is the parenthesis title of Eddie Cheba's 1977 hip hop song Looking Good? Shake your body, shake your head, or shake your booty. Shake your body. Which North London recording studio was founded in 1970? Runaway Studios, Pathway Studios, or Highway Studios? Pathways Studios, Pathway Studios. Artists from the late 1970s new wave band The Tourists went on to form which group? Roxette, T-Rex, or The Eurythmics? Eurythmics. How many people attended the 1973 festival, the Summer Jam at Watkins Gate, New York State? 200,000, 400,000, or 600,000? 600,000. Which band recorded the demo tape at Keystone Studios in Dublin in April 1978? U2, The Pogues, or Flogging Molly? U2. Which orchestra performed the first Star Wars film theme pieces starting in 1977? The New York Philharmonic, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, or the London Symphony Orchestra? The London Symphony Orchestra. Who were the members of the English prog supergroup ELP formed in 1970? Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, Emerson, Lake, and Paulson, or Emerson, Lake, and Parker? Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. What musical mania took hold in the early 1970s? Stones mania, Jackson mania, or Abba mania? Jackson Mania. Question 70. Which group released their second eponymous album in 1975? Fleetwood Mac, Leonard Skinner, or Supertramp? Fleetwood Mac. What was the full name of the Tonight's The Night, the number one song on the Billboard Year End 100 list in 1977? Gonna be all right, you're all right, or all night long? Gonna be all right. Which group were the UK's number one best-selling artists of 1974? The Wombats, The Wagons, or The Wombles? The Wombles. What was the last name of Broadway and radio music star Billy who died on May 14, 1970? Burke, Clerk, or Turk? Burke. Which Marvin Gaye song did James Taylor cover in 1975? I heard it through the grapevine. Let's get it on, or how sweet it is. How sweet it is. 
What musical and film is the 1973 song Time Warp from? The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Time Warp, or Jesus Christ Superstar? The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Which 1973 Dolly Parton song expresses her decision to pursue a solo career? I Will Always Love You, The Seeker, or My Blue Tears? I Will Always Love You. Which artist starred in the 1970 comedy film Cucumber Castle? Cream, The Bee Gees, or Air Supply? The Bee Gees. Which couple hosted their television variety series on ABC from 1976 to 1977? Captain and Tennille, Tony Orlando and Dawn, or Peters and Lee? Captain and Tennille. Which fellow musician did Joni Mitchell not date in the 1970s? James Taylor, Graham Nash, or Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan. Which 1976 film theme song is Gonna Fly Now? Rocky, Shaft, or Cabaret? Rocky. Which artist sang Shadow Dancing, the number one Billboard year-end single of 1978? Nick Gilder, Jay Ferguson, or Andy Gibb? Andy Gibb. Where was B.B. King's live album recorded in 1970? Cook County Jail, Carnegie Hall, or Duggan's Bistro? Cook County Jail. Which 1970s punk group was billed with the only band that matters? The Stooges, The Clash, or The Buzzcocks? The Clash. Who wrote, performed, and produced the 1973 protest song, Living for the City? Stevie Wonder, Quincy Jones, or Smokey Robinson? Stevie Wonder. What song became the first hip hop top 40 hit on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1979? The Sugar Hill Gang, Beastie Boys, or Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five? The Sugar Hill Gang with Rapper's Delight. Which music entertainment machine launched in the 1970s? Discman, Karaoke Machine, or Jukebox? Karaoke Machine. Which Barry White 1970s disco song was originally written as a country track over 20 years prior? You're the first, the last, my everything. Never, never going to give you up or let the music play. You're the first, the last, my everything. In which month of 1977 did Elvis Presley die? April, June, or August? August. Which band's first single was the 1972 track Dallas? Hollow Notes, Steely Dan, or the Doobie Brothers?
Steely Dan. Question 90. What was Linda Ronstadt's second album titled released in 1970? Silk Purse, Silk Shirt, or Silk Burst? Silk Purse. Which artist sang My Sharona, the number one Billboard year end single of 1979? The Knack, The Jacksons, or Cheap Trick? The Knack. Whose debut 1975 album Horses was considered a seminal punk classic? Lou Reed, The Ramones, or Patti Smith? Patty Smith. How many countries boycotted the Eurovision Song Contest in 1970? Two, five, or eight? Five. Whose 1973 song led to their nickname, The Piano Man? Stevie Wonder, Billy Joel, or Huey Lewis? Billy Joel. What did Curtis Mayfield release his 1973 album Superfly as the soundtrack for? Documentary soundtrack, film soundtrack, or television soundtrack? Film soundtrack. Who was Johnny Rabbit in the 1970s music industry? A radio DJ, a music journalist, or a record executive? A radio DJ. Which melodic hard rock band formed in Chicago in 1972? Foreigner, Boston, or Styx? Styx. Which group released the Euro disco hit Rasputin in 1978? The Village People, ABBA, or Bonnie M? Bonnie N. Who performed the eponymous 1977 James Bond theme song for The Spy Who Loved Me? Carol King, Carly Simon, or Joni Mitchell? Carly Simon. Which band became Bruce Springsteen's group in 1972? The C Street Band, D Street Band, or E Street Band? The E Street Band. Bonus question, which 1978 musical film introduced audiences to Danny and Sandy? Let us know the answer in the comments. Thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time.